Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 All Rounder Episode 65. We kick off the new season with the Saudi Tour. We've been solo in this breakaway, just two riders, and we actually just dropped the other rider who was with me, and two new riders have come along. We're 45, 50, maybe 60k into this race, and still uh, have not been given free reign off the front. Uh, that gap actually finally there you go just in the last moment it has opened up and uh, we've opened a three minute 40 second gap uh kick off the season here with a minus four race day condition certainly not the way i would have liked to start this thing so what i'm going to be after for this saudi tour especially as it's uh, mostly sprint stages is I want to try to gain a little bit of time, see if I can't get myself into the GC conversation. Uh, potentially six seconds on offer today. That's not the easiest uh, to gain, but there is one punchy stage, if I remember correctly, on the Saudi tour, and that could or should free things up just a little. Oh, Crochet came back. He came back. There he is. He's dying. He's been away for like 90 kilometers, yeah, about 80 kilometers <laughs> at riding most of that either solo or with me riding hard. Uh, so good on him for making it back up here. Gaps at 245. Well, anyway, uh, there is a punchy stage, which makes you think a rider like myself won't make it over those climbs. But I've done the Saudi tour enough times to th to go, y you know what, I think we'll be fine on that one particular stage, which means actually it's going to come down to sprinters in the end and not down to punchers. Uh, we'll see if the field gives me uh, the freedom to join the break. I think I won the Saudi Tour two or three years ago, didn't I? Uh, in fact, I won multiple stages. That, that whole six-stage thing, didn't I... I don't know. I, I might have won the overall. I may or may not have won a stage. I think it came from sprint points, not from winning the stage. Well, anyway. Uh, one notable thing is DeGent, my new teammate, is here. Get to ride him for the first time. Uh, ride with him for the first time of many times to come over the next season. And we're just 5k away from the upcoming sprint points. So slow down a little bit as we prepare for that. Now 4k away. Uh, DeGant was a 76, I'm a 75 at the end of last season. At the start of this season, at his age, uh, it is now, oh gosh, I'm too late, too late to the party on this one. I'm not going to win. I'll get second. Oh, 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 he sat up. Okay, I was okay. Puncture for a rider. Nice, okay. Uh, I thought I screwed that one up, going a little too late. Actually, I ended up timing it quite well. It was a little bit punchy, a little bit of a hill. It looks like we're hitting possibly the same point again, or at least one that looks very, very similar in nature uh, to the previous one. So we might want to wait till pretty late. And with just 36k to go, we might not even be out front by that point. Next, here comes the first wave of attacks in the group. Grab water for the last time on the stage. Uh, nobody's working together anymore. Is this because I'm getting water? Have I really? We're losing a minute while I'm trying to get water. Water that's never coming. Water finally comes. Now the group's ready to cooperate again. And the gap was down to 15 seconds. There's a breakaway. Hey, yeah, yeah. Back out to 54 seconds now, but now we are burning a ton of energy to try to stay away. 55 seconds. Just 21k left. If we had a minute and a half at this point, you'd go, hey, we've got a shot. But we're 4k away from the sprint point. At least we could potentially get after uh, that. Attack in the leading group. Crochet is the idiot who's never been any help. back at him. He's not going to have anything left to attack. 
inside the final K. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Quincy. Oh. Dude, straight up beat me. I don't know. Why, why won't you give me Quincy? Some team there we go. Mustn't appreciate I don't know the back anything about Quincy. Twenty second gap. That's not looking so good. The escapees have surrendered. The pack gave them no chance. There are just ten kilometers left. Nine K to go. Yikes, why are we going backwards? The teammates of the main sprinters are not Can handing we, uh, out tickets for a breakaway. Right with so the one that matters. There you go. Seven point six K. Little uphill, little downhill, little uphill again to finish this stage off. Fall in the pack. Tell up now. We want to hit the downhill, left. and can I, no, go acrobatic and gain Again, a little gap locked. arrow position? No, <laughs> that go. didn't work. The the 1k, 1k, 1k. Not as your left. Gaviria like takes away in Koish. I was trying to use that little downhill to today. see if I could open up a little bit of a, a gap and maybe steal the stage. Didn't happen. I finish in the pack. That's fine. The race is run, but the poor souls bringing up the rear continue to cross the line. It's a bit of a knock. I was for never going to win that sprint head-to-head head with those guys. For you. So, tried to get a little last moment punchy gap, but uh, I was not fast enough to get a gap. 19th on the stage, but third overall. So, of course, in this game and in real life, sometimes the weather has a bit of an adverse reaction for riders in terms of that race day condition. It's a good Heavy rain, the team colors. very very cold, snow and ice coming down across the, the road, stopping a stage Some before you uh, the reach breakaway. the finish, or heat. Extreme heat. A few riders jockeying for position at the front. And even wind of course can create the type of conditions necessary that some riders thrive under and others have the exact opposite reaction and they struggle. Well, we're at the Saudi tour and you wouldn't blame a person if you're thinking that the Saudi tour would lead to negative race day conditions. Break away at the front. But you get that information before you go into the load screen and uh, finally, uh, oof, Yermakov in this group and Mullen, who was with me already, but this is a pretty strong group, a five. Let's see if this can open up. It's it's a minute 45. They seem to be content with the five of us away. I need to recover big time, so hopefully that uh, can be a thing here. But we're out to over two minutes. Anyway. Uh, this particular Saudi tour and these first two stages, the weather has not been a factor. Uh, not a factor at all. It has not impacted what my expected race day condition was. Which was zero, by the well, way. I mean, it wasn't that it was amazing or anything. But the expected zero. Both stages the and, the and the combined the minus six through the, the first two stages. So... Let's hope I get a plus five tomorrow so I can still be a negative. Uh, I, okay, let me know in the comments because my career mode, my pro cyclist mode, over and over and over again. All right? This game works on a bell curve. You should, could, always eventually come out around zero. Uh, and there's nothing else. You know, there is no other option. It's a bell curve. It's not going to be exactly zero, but it should always be relatively close to that. And wow, I was. My red bar did not run out to the line. I timed that just right. Mullen and Van Uden are just quicker. How was he so fast? What, what, what about that says fast? Mullen, I don't know enough about. Time trialists, though. Try barely. Pretty good rider. Pretty strong. So I can see if he was maybe faster, but... What? 
How did Van Uden outpace me there? I'm a 72 sprint. I could and should be faster than he is. Oh, I do have a negative two race day condition, which... Oh, the wait, I'm worrying about it. I'm so sorry. Uh, has significantly increased its speed. Let me know in the comments below. Has this been the case for you? Because season after season after season, I am not hitting a balanced zero on the bell curve. I'm nowhere near that. Honestly, I'm, I, I've been a worse than a minus one daily average on my, my race day draws, especially career cut. mode where you're getting, you know, seven riders every single stage that you take up. And of course, you're participating in every race, not just one rider's, you know, list. And I run out of energy before the finish line this time. Did I even get third over the line? That was close. I did get third over the line again, so two more seconds gained. Two more sprint points to go. Anyway, like I said, I, I think I'm averaging worse than a minus one over the entirety of both series. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's worse than 1.5 for an average, as in per rider, minus 1.5 daily. <laughs> I think it's probably closer to one though, but more than one maybe less than 1.5, so, you know, one and a quarter points per day to the negative of what it should be. Now, I'm on season five here. I'm on season four or five. On Whoa, hello. We went the wrong direction. We tried to turn the other way. A couple of teams have set themselves Hopefully up as the Peloton does the, the same. They and maybe they keep going the wrong right way. Group. Let's open this gap up. I don't like my chances winning against this group, but I do like my chances with the top five and what it would do for GC. Okay, here we go. 1.7. Slow down. Sprint, 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 sprint. Okay, I get a good take off this time. Red bar is going to go right to the line or just about. Oof, that was close. Got all three. And grab that water that I did need for a little bit. A just didn't want it to be a distraction. Okay, did I get that one? I did. Okay, so that's five seconds on the day. That makes me equal with the yellow jersey for right now. Anyway, the point was, I don't know why I can't keep a thought together at the moment. It's been a long day. Uh, it's been a long week already. What I'm getting at is, is it just me? Right? Through eight, nine seasons to be averaging worse than a minus one? And maybe I'm off, right? If we went back and actually tabulated, but... I was saying this in uh, the last career mode episode I recorded, which I actually think is tomorrow, but I recorded it just before this one. Uh, I think I kind of have a conversation similarly to this one here. And so still fresh on the mind as we're starting to attack each other. We're still more than a minute ahead. Acceleration by and it's still more than 30k to go. What, what was it? Was I not going fast enough? Did they speed up and I hadn't noticed? Terra, not working, but that's no surprise. Uh, his shoulders were bobbing really bad, but suddenly he seems okay. The 54 is not seconds away, the 10k to the sprint point. Speed. I like my chances on that sprint point a lot better. Uh, looks like I'm leaving Terra in the dust. I do. 
couldn't keep up with me. With less than 20 kilometers and to the line, how's the gap up front? 23 seconds. I have to ride a over. little bit harder. I need to catch up to these guys. 5k to go. Gaps come down slightly, but not really. They're doing just enough to hold me off here. The lead over the pack is dwindling. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. Nope, not going to catch them. The the last 15 kilometers of the stage. Not going to catch them. And actually, now I'm really struggling here with 12k to go. Should have used the uh, arrow. 10 kilometers remaining. And those three are still away. How are they pulling that off? And why, without me, make me sad. Anyway, mister, I can't string a thought together. Uh, I'm going to get left in the dust the here. 5k to go. Just go 99 and try to hang on. I can't get the heart rate down this close to the end of the stage. Okay, sneak. Go forward. Anyway, is that the case for you? I've got a huge sample size by this point, and to be averaging more than a negative one on average per rider, it hasn't been as bad on, on pro cyclist mode, but so often I go into it with an expected plus one and, and come out with a zero or a negative one. My, my career mode, I, I notice it a lot more across the board. I have an entire team with an expected plus two, so it should all be in the green. And then I come out with five riders in the red and only one or two riders in the green. Stage after stage after stage after stage. So is it just me, or has this been the case for you? Is PCM 20's race day condition, bell curve algorithm off is it broken is it bell curving a minus one because that seems to be the case there it is i strung a thought together yay me i also put a very bad end to the stage but i was not dropped so i did gain some time gc wise that puts me in a pretty good spot i would imagine around second or third third place still 10 seconds behind gaviria who's pulling away a bit but one second behind molin 10 seconds ahead of the pack. Alrighty, so I've gained enough time here on stage number three that I now have co-leader status, giving my Baradour task to Degent, who is the ultimate Baradour, so it makes perfect sense. Uh, we're going through this first climb of the day that, instead of a KOM, has a sprint point. We survived that one just fine, just a tiny bit of fatigue. We're going to loop around and hit that climb yet again. I've got leader status. Apparently, Vliegen is the other leader in that, uh, which I don't even know Vliegen. Okay, we get through that just fine. That was the hard part of the day. From here, we just got to finish this thing off. Four man break, one guy in no man's land who's coming back towards the peloton. Break does not have a huge lead, it's only a minute 20. Uh, it's just 30k to go though, so we're, we're actually already getting fairly close to the end of the stage. I better bring it down just in case we can focus. One minute gap, so we're not going to catch him on this sprint point. We might catch him before the next. That is my best chance to grab time again because I'm very unlikely with the likes of Gaviria and Koish here uh, to win a sprint, maybe third at best, uh, but it's going to be really hard to uh, gain time on those two. 50 seconds, still the gap, and just 3k to go, so we're not going to catch them. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we would catch them before we came up on this so that I could attack it and go for the climb. And see, they were already at the top when we hit the base of the uh, approach to that. So now we focus on the finish. I might be co-leader, but I literally have zero riders in support. This co-leader role is more about they, they know I've gained time, but they have no faith in me. Now they want me to focus 
on the time that I've gained and keeping it, but otherwise they don't actually believe I'm going to do anything uh, with it besides what I've already done. 5k banner, still a 20 second gap for DeGent and Co. Bring myself gently forward here with 4k to go. As we bring them in, that's a really good opportunity. Nope, no, not quite. There's somebody else accelerating here, Bystrom. I thought about trying to attack. Okay, we're gonna go 99. I'm gonna sprint early. 1.5k. Little technical run in there. Gave me a good advantage, but there goes Gaviria. There goes Koish. Running away with this thing. Almost made it. I was hoping for another left hand bend couple turns and I would have been okay. One turn, I started with an advantage, but that advantage faded. Twelfth on the stage, my teammate Guillaume took ninth. The proper sprinters at the front. So we're on stage four. It's the punchy stage that's still built for sprinters anyway. We just have to get over this upcoming climb twice. We do that, we get to the finish line, no problem. I have co-leader status again. This time, I was given an actual support rider from Meltfort working with me. And just now, I picked up Welton as well. So that's nice. Uh, okay, I, I could work with that. This is it, 3.8k, but really it's only a kilometer climb. That's not a problem. I don't see how that's anything but a sprint stage. 40k to go. We have to hit it one more time, uh, but no problem. No problem. Anyway, I do have a little support today, and I did gain a little something on this one. Uh, as we came up on the first sprint point, there was a small break. Still had an advantage, but it was being chased. As we were approaching the second I see a rider with a point, flat tire. It looked exactly like this looks right now. There was one rider left away. Somebody had in mind that they were going to do what I'm going to do right now. And that is attack. Uh, so I got it in my mind that I wanted to do this. I was the third one off the front, but I was able to out sprint the second guy who had attacked. The first one was still too far away, like this guy is here, but uh, I was able to get myself over the top and claim uh, two seconds. And we're going to go see if we can get something similar here. 2k to go. See if we can go grab ourselves maybe even three seconds. I'm going to run out of energy before the end. I'm still in sprint. Still sprinting. Still sprinting. Thank you for holding that. I just picked up three more seconds. Now, twice in this stage, I have tried to break away. Once at the beginning of the stage, second time after this point, after that second sprint point where I went and claimed two seconds. Pack, no totally not interested in me getting away. But I've picked up five more seconds today. I've slipped to sixth place after that last stage, not being able to gain any time. So I went from third back down to sixth. Five seconds should bring me up a little bit. By the way, it was still a 1-2 for Gaviria and Koish, if you didn't notice on that last stage. But it was reversed. Koish picked up the win. 11k to go now on this stage. I'm back down just to just for Meltfort. And he's here, so I will use him in a moment to uh, prepare for uh, the run-in. Try to get a little bit of a lead out. I'll have a better shot at third place today than I did, especially when uh, for Meltfort's still doing okay. Not much pace right now, but I imagine that's going to pick up right about now. So let's do that. Let's pick up. All right. 
93. Could and should be enough to get out there. There are just five kilometers left. That's doing the trick. We'll go 92 now. So that actually get a little bit of a lead out out of this. Under 4k. Under 3. Got the pace a little more. Use that transcend. 2k. Okay, there and give me sprint. his the sprint. She's got ball. no red bar, but he's still got that yellow. I'm actually starting from the most advantageous position there is. No way that I'm beating the sprinters. Matthews, where have Michael you been, Matthews. buddy? I didn't even know he was here. Matthews takes the win. Pen Oliver, Gaviria, I get fifth. It's a good result, but I'm, I'm not quick enough. <laughs> I'm a little slow. Entering this final stage, a podium is not yet secure. Confirmation that the heat is not a factor here, as actually we're getting rainy weather this time at the Saudi Tour. The pack is increasing final 30k, the breakaway, the breakaway, they'll be brought back in pretty soon, their gap down to just over a minute. Only two sprint points today, but that second one coming up pretty soon, I thought maybe we'd catch the break before we get there. At the rate we were bringing them back, but it looks like they're going to hang on 1k away, and there you go. They've gone through. Oh, maybe not. That was not the 1k banner. That was the... <laughs> I don't know. Right, maybe we're looping back. That was something. Uh, but we go through. It, it's behind us, so no time gains. So, at worst, I dropped a sixth. Right. Whoever the three podium riders are, there's enough the riders within four seconds of me the that offer a second group. third for anyone behind me. That could be enough for them to move ahead. Hopefully I can Another at least retain a top five. And if I'm lucky, I can keep stage. this podium place. If Koish and Gaviria take two of the spots, and if whoever takes third is more than four seconds behind. That is probably the ideal scenario because I'm unlikely to get any better than fifth place here. Uh, where'd my... there's my protection. Okay, he's there. I just realized we're already 6k away from the finish. That happened very fast. Could have actually had a better lead out than this, but that's okay. I'll take this lead out. 6k is enough of a run-in. Breakaway is still hanging on at 25 seconds, and that's the main reason why I hadn't even realized we were already this close to the end. 4k. Start speeding up here. Let's also use the transcend. 3k. We still haven't caught the break. We have not caught the break. This is actually good for me if the break takes the uh, win. Okay, sprint, Vliegen. Sprint. And give me a sprint. No yeah, go. let's go, let's go. Can I get a top three? Can I get a what, what? Third place! Okay, I'll take it. Those guys sneaking in on that left-hand side. It's a big, wide road. I was right up against the boards, but... Yeah, okay. Well, I gained four seconds. Is that enough to move up to second? Gaviria has won this race. He had enough of a gap. Koish, I think, was less than four seconds ahead. But will the... Uh, Denise and... Who is it that finished second? Strong? Strong's the one I'm worried about. Six seconds for Strong. I don't think Denise had gained any time. He's more than ten seconds behind me, I believe. Strong might be less than six seconds back. In which case, uh, I would still end up in third. Oh, nope. Strong was too far back. He had gained some time. But it was only a couple seconds, it looks like. Second place. Nice. Gaviria. I mean, it's Gaviria, right? <laughs> Koish, not as good of a sprint. I'm surprised Michael Matthews. This game has not been kind to Michael Matthews. At 77, 78, I mean, seriously, Michael Matthews is not the fastest sprinter in the world. I, I get it. I get it. He's not Sam Bennett. He's not Caleb Ewan. 
But is he slower than an 80 sprint? Oh, I don't know about that. Worst case scenario, 79. He is one of the world's elite sprinters. He's not quite among the best. His advantage? The hill rating. 76? Yeah, I think that's perfectly fair. Not a good mountain climber, but decent on hills. He wins punchy sprints. He's not a puncher. He is a sprinter. But likewise, a 77 sprint versus a 76 hill rating. Does that say sprinter? Or does that say puncher? That says puncher to me. A 77 sprint is not fair to Michael Matthews. No wonder I've barely seen him get results in this series. That is a disservice to the man. I feel bad for him. That That is not, not right at all. 79 sprint. I think hands down. Minimum. 80 would be proper. Uh, but I, I'd be totally fine. 79. I, I'm, I'm okay with that one. But 77 is criminal. That's like giving an 82 mountain rating to uh, a certain guy who you know I, I adore. Uh, no, wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. What did he do in La Vuelta? He, he said, I'm going to win La Vuelta. You know who I'm talking about. Do I, do I even need to mention the name? I'm trying not. I'm trying really hard not to. Uh, he said, I'm going to win La Vuelta. He said, I'm going to win Tour de France. The first stage he dropped time on Tour de France, it was like, oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm working for the team. I'm working for R Roglic. And then La Vuelta, first stage he loses, like, four minutes. Oh, I'm, I'm working for Roglic. And then he was gone, like, the next day. Most overrated rider in decades. Gegenhardt's a better climber than he is. He won the Giro also. Competition level was not significantly better when that other person won it. It was not. There was a couple good riders there who were off their form, and it was a course that very much suited him multiple time trials. And he is a great time trialist. I, I will absolutely give him that. I will give him that. He has not him an 82 mountain. Not even close. Not even close. Before, I said, maybe you can give him an 80. Now, <laughs> Have you seen him climb this year? Don't give me the excuses of he, he took time off, recovered from an injury, or that he worked. He didn't work. His teammates worked. Sepp Kuss, Van Aert, George Bennett. Those guys worked for Roglic. I, I'm, I'm really helping you narrow it down. I'm not going to say the name. I'm stronger. I, I can... I, I can I can withstand it. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I grabbed second place. That that was pretty awesome. That's a good start to the season. I think I've won this tour before. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't this one. It was just something very much like it. I do get the under 25s. And second overall. I'm still under 25. 23 now. Okay. Man, it's season 5. It makes sense. Anyway, I'm DeCathlon Gamer. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.